playing Time Crisis 2 on PS2. A bittersweet moment. Let's see. Wow. That's the sound it makes and there's no memory card. Okay. At Neodyne Industries, we have successfully completed a global network consisting of 64 satellites. The project is named Starline Network. This is a monumental achievement. Hey, Starline will unite the world. Think so. Time crisis. Two. Mm hmm. Set the difficulty down a bit. Actually, I can't set the lines. Um, I don't think it matters too much what the difficulty is, actually. I just want to beat the first stage on the video. This extra scene's not in the arcade version. This is not in the arcade? Yeah, this part of the scene is not in the arcade version. And the arcade version just goes straight to where she's on the computer. Hmm. Oh, this extra shot's not in the arcade version either. It starts here. This is where the arcade version starts. I found some data about the satellite network. Haven't the agents left yet? This is so surreal because the on emulator just has an audio bug during the cutscene. What's the bug? The audio like stutters and repeats. Oh, yeah. Otherwise, the game works. But yeah. You have no idea how perfect our plan is. Now take her away. I don't think I made it any farther than Area 2 on the arcade version. Because the emulation would crash? No, it's... I'm talking about the actual arcade emulator. No, not the actual arcade <laughs> cabinet. <laughs> because I played this on a real arcade cabinet, and I think Area 2 is the farthest I ever got. But no, when, when we're talking about emulating the arcade version, I don't even think it can be done. 
I don't think any, I don't think people have gotten it working yet. I feel like it's gonna happen someday. It's just a really hard nut to crack at the moment. Yeah. Like the only playthrough of the arcade version was somebody who like hooked it up to like a video capturing thing. Yeah. Because it was recorded directly from the arcade machine. sad thing is, um, so I first encountered the arcade version in an arcade at my hotel in Florida that we would always stay at when we went visit Orlando, and then we found another cabinet of the, the arcade game at a hibachi restaurant we used to go to in Florida. Sadly, I'm pretty, I don't think the arcade, that hotel, I think that hotel still has an arcade, but, like, it's been modernized, so, like, only, like, the crappy games. Hmm. And that hibachi restaurant no longer exists. Hold down the trigger and keep firing. How that feel? Like a million bucks. Gotcha moment. <laughs> yeah. I saw like the little pixels of the yellow soldier right there. <laughs> And of course, on the video playthrough, the arcade version, everybody, purists, always go, Arcade version's better. Yeah, it's better. Maybe it's because I ultimately ended up playing the PS2 version more, but the PS2 version, I think, resonates a bit more with me. Yeah. Like, let's put it like this. There's no right or wrong way to play the game. I hate it when elitists act like there's only one correct way to play a game. Yeah. Uh, I did it on one credit. Cool. By the way, what happened to your memory cards? Um, I just have them in like a bag somewhere in the room. Uh, oh, I have to shoot. It knows I'm not shooting the screen. Wow. All right, fine. Oh, too late. <laughs> it's too late. Okay, uh, now stage two. Right here. Now it knows.
Yeah, just keep it going. Until like game over. Nice speeder on tactic. <laughs> if I, if I went up top, I wouldn't be able to shoot down that crane thing they were standing on. Let's say you had a lot of ones in your score there. Any one of ones? No, just one, 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 one. I see. But this is time crisis too. Yeah, you get two ones for each player. Except the other player in this case is computerized. I don't think the computer player actually shoots any of the. I don't enemies. think they do, yeah. They're just there to be a target. Yeah, if you shoot them, you lose points. But look at it this way Time Crisis 5 made that guy into a villain, so you might be doing, the, doing them a favor. <laughs> <laughs> That should have hit me, I feel like. Yeah, what was that? Must have ducked at the last frame. Yeah. Oh. And you even hear like the whoosh as it goes by. Yeah. So that would have knocked his head clean off. I feel like I, the CRT pixels, like, are tough to make out at times. The pixels are tough to make out? Well, I'm not used to... It's been a very long time since I played on a CRT, so I'm not used... I've kind of become accustomed to the modern upscaling aesthetic. What do you... So what do you think of the CRT aesthetic? I can see what they mean by scan lines. <laughs> See the scan lines? Yeah. Huh. And now we're about to get one of the best bosses in the series just because of how silly it is. Yeah. Emulator, if you play upscaled, um, this is where the game kind of glitches out, so you can't play with upscaling, you have to do software rendering. Mm. Like, basically, the whole screen turns black, basically, with like outlines. Oh, wow. He's playing whack a mole. Yes. And somehow he's able to pick that entire missile up and not blow it up. Yep. I 
I'd be getting some of my achievements on the achievement set by now. If I could do this without losing the life. Well, never mind. should be able to finish it because I think I have two credits left and the game and the game doesn't have a ridiculous difficulty spike like F3 did no the first one did yeah their running animation the arcade version looks more ridiculous <laughs> dead now Shot the screen and it didn't count for some reason. Time Crisis 3 is known for its gotcha moments. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Like, 3 is one of the more difficult games, and it kind of balances out, because that was the first one that gave you, like, extra weapons. is also the voice actor for Chris in RE1 and Richter in Castlevania. Really? Yep. He also voiced Paul in Tekken 1 and 2. Hmm. Officially, I think this is a might be this is one of his last voice acting credits because he passed away in a car accident like in 2000, I think. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, he was an English voice actor living in Japan. Like, that's what a lot of, like, Japanese games at the time did for their English voice acting, if you're wondering why lots of the voice acting was so bad. <laughs> Lots of them were literally just English speakers living in Japan that didn't have much in the way of professional acting credits. <laughs> taking you so much time to get rid of them. All right, I'll take care of this myself. <laughs> it's still going, isn't it? Yeah. Good. I may actually upload this. <laughs> Whoa. 
wish you could shoot out that light. actually gonna die off for real. <laughs> B-S-S-E, you fools. <laughs> for how infamous the guy's voice acting was, that was a pretty badass way to go out. Yeah. Well, I shot her by accident, so. Uh, I have two credits, I can do it. <laughs> I keep shooting her on accident. Sorry. <laughs> you say sorry so casually, like, oh yeah, I just shot someone twice. It's no big deal. I just lose 5,000 points, so. Yeah, I just lose 5,000 points off my VSSC license. You know, it's not that big of a deal. God damn it. the more annoying part. Yo, I should have got What? I, how did I get him? Huh. <laughs> that was very forgiving of the game. Alright, finally the satellite fight is better than this annoying part. <laughs> Funny considering he would kill her <laughs> during Five's events. <laughs> Because it said in the dialogue of five that Robert killed her off. Oh wow. Well. Yeah. Also, Keith and her were in a relationship. Hmm. Five's plot is incredibly corny though, and they go right back to the voice acting quality of the first game. After three and four started to improve on it a bit. <laughs> Yeah, the classic time crisis line. Nick Let me entertain you. Yes. No, I think I just have to... It's funny because when you shoot him, it like bounces back, and like you win when it bounces back enough. Yeah. So you have to bounce it back far enough? Yeah. Yeah, see? Bounce, 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 dead. <laughs> Alright. He dies off, for real. Yes. Well, the villains of these games that aren't Wild Dog tend to die for real. <laughs> yeah, Wild Dog is the real main character of these games. That's He's why he always comes back. Pretty much. Oh, I actually beat this with a real gun con. Wow. I have to enter my name, even though it's not going to go anywhere because you don't have a memory card in here. <laughs> At least it'll be the video evidence. It's still going, isn't it? Yeah. Cool. Wow. Well, no thumbs up. <laughs> okay, thumbs up, good. VSSC. Motion and voice actors. Scott McCulloch is the name of the guy. That did Wild Dog. 
Pretty sure Lynn Harris, who voices Christy, was also from RE1. Also, Lynn Harris, I think, was the voice of Rachel in the first one. Wow. Yeah. Six hundred and fifty thousand points with sixty three accuracy. <laughs> okay. And I made first place. Let's see the leaderboard climb. Oh, I got one stage trial for stage two and three. Number now, I and I got you free play, even though again, there's no memory card, <laughs> and now you could do nine lives. Crisis missions, those are difficult as hell, yeah. Like, almost nobody has mastered my time crisis two and three sets on the achievement site because the crisis missions are obviously on there, and very few people have beaten them. <laughs> But, man, that was Time Crisis 2 with an actual gun con. At Neodyne Industries, Namco 1996, right over here. Is he getting that? Mm-hmm. Wow. Alright. Wanna play?